Hi guys, how's it going? Matt DiTomato right here. Welcome back to some more EU4. This is another part of the Let's Play as Korea. In the last part, uh, Scandinavia declared war on us. We're fighting them and the Commonwealth. Uh, we're being trashed up here, uh, which is quite horrible. Uh, there's not a lot we can do about it, uh, but hopefully maybe we won't lose too much here. Um, see, I'm, ma I'm making a stand a little bit in the hills here, but there's, there's just too many of them. Um, is there any other... See, we could move forward to here. Possible river crossing penalty coming into play there as well. Uh, or tester leg. Uh, move to here. Let's see if I can't catch any of these guys. So there's some good leaders here, but... Let's try and see if we can't... See, you're coming down towards my forts, which makes sense. Where are you going? You'll hear it really. I'll trap you there. 21st of July. Come on, tell me the arrival time. Uh, 30th of May and 2nd of June. Risk eight. Uh, we lost that siege as well. It's a bad time to lose that siege. Yeah, walk back to the hill. Run. Yeah, these are only uh, level two forts as well, so it makes it quite difficult. Um. Ooh. Depends where you're going, Kerlen. Uh, you're coming down to here, that's a bit annoying. I can say, I could go and try and attack that. But, uh... Okay, um... Looks like they're all coming in to attack me here. Uh, which would make sense, if, I, if it were them, but... Uh... A brutal uh, little province here. Okay, he's coming in. Right, we're probably going to lose again. Um, but let's see what happens. We're taking the defensive... Uh, ooh. Let him stay home. Uh, the other thing is, maybe we could... No, there's no other advisors to hire. It's annoying. So we're probably going to lose this one, but we're going to take a defensive position. Um, depends who else, how many of these guys decide to move in for the fight as well. Um, you're force marching in there. Right, we beat back the Scandinavian stack. And grab the other one, consolidate you. We're low on morale, but... Oh, it's going to be close this because the... Uh, Penalties that... Oh, we lost the second one. That's unlucky. Uh, but we beat back one of the Scandinavian ones there, uh, which was good. But apart from that, most of this is going pear-shaped. <laughs> so, Irene here. Okay, fabricate flame there. So where are we retreating to? Down to here, okay. It's a bit annoying because I wouldn't mind going back there and trying to deal with that because they, they took a bunch of hits there uh, but there's so many more coming in so uh, there's not a lot we can do here so are you willing to take this yet? no uh, do you want any more provinces? Like, what, what could I give you here? There's nothing else that you want. I can't give you both of those. Oh, Sheridan. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's a mistake there. Um. You can have that. Maybe Pelim as well. Um, whatever this one is.
So you don't really want that, though. So yeah, you're not you're not interested in any of that. God, you're really not interested in any kind of uh, piece here. Uh, right, there's really not a lot we can do here then. Um, try and walk back here. The the hill's position here was good though. Uh, it did help us out. Only to a certain point. So let's see if we can't get back into here. Oh, hostile fort. Yeah, alright. Um... Also, it's become self-sustaining. Well, that's nice, but there's not a lot we can do about that. So, you're coming in for an attack here. No terrain modifiers here either, so... You're coming in down here. Uh, let's leg it to... There are some hills down here. Um, run to here. Just run. <laughs> for the love of God, just run. We lost the siege of Beijing. Right, so now things are going pear shaped. Right. Yeah, so you're attacking my capital, you've attacked. Uh, you're not attacking my capital yet, but. You're trashing up the forts, which is really brutal. Um. I mean, take a military tech upgrade here, but it's not going to mean a lot. <laughs> can now build the stock exchange, that's nice. Um. It's not going to mean a lot against Scandinavia, um, who is, of course, going to be completely wrecking everything here. Uh, there's no terrain advantages to any of this. We can't go here because of the fort. Um, oh my god, this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. We're being smashed here. The problem is, really, that the uh, the alliance with like the Commonwealth and Scandinavia... I'm surprised those two are friends with the amount of border friction that they have and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, we'll see, anyway. But this is going to be a big loss, I think. So, the Commonwealth is actually at medium war enthusiasm, that's interesting. Uh, right, both our colonies have become self-sustaining. So I doubt... I doubt I'd be able to sue for peace over here and just sort of white piece you out of the war at all. Highly doubt it. I could try and pay you off. Uh, no, not demands, offer. Like if I gave you... Some monies or something like that. Would you be interested in that? No, you want other concessions. Thing is, maybe if I can try and annoy. I think the bad. The only thing I could do here is to try and annoy the Commonwealth by sort of saying, you know, giving a little bit of land to Scandinavia and that's it. And that would annoy the Commonwealth because they'd be like, oh, hang on, you didn't give me any anything in the, uh, the peace deal. So I don't know. Uh, that's probably our best bet is to perhaps annoy the hell out of somebody else. But yeah, we, we are struggling heavily here. No, nothing we can do about it. There's literally nothing we can do about it. They are just too darn powerful. And we, we haven't managed to catch up on the technologies yet to be able to fight them. So, uh, I guess that's what we get for ignoring the West, though. Um, that's what happens when we ignore the West. Um... We uh, lose quite badly. There's a lot of lag kicking in here, though, which is actually quite annoying. Uh, so war exhaustion is high, of course it is. I mean, I could only go and try and do that, but then I'll just be picked off. So I'll just be picked off over here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, the lag is real. It's actually quite annoying. Um, yeah, there's not much else we can really do here. Try and de-siege one bit. But that, it, we'll just be picked off here, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless I de-siege this and try and make a stand in the hills again, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt I'll be able to pull that off. Uh, Great Britain exists, okay. Um, that's interesting. 
Can I DCs this before any of the armies get here? Uh, Wu's opinion of Korea. Alright, fair enough. It's also what we get for having barely any alliance. Here we go. Here they come. Right. So we're going to be smashed up here. Um, because the Scandinavian army is coming in as well. There we go. Completely trashed. So, I mean, what would they be willing to take here? It's so annoying. I'm giving them land, for God's sake. Ugh. Um, if I gave you like a massive chunk of this here, something like that maybe. Scandinavia doesn't. So what the hell do you want then? Like, what on earth do you even want? Maybe I'm just going to have to wait until they uh, they want me to cancel perm as well, maybe, is probably what they really want as well. That might actually contribute. Uh, right, okay, so they're a little bit more willing now. So, any more provinces that they want. Uh, it's going to involve huge loans. So you're not interested in anything else. You're more you're more interested in cancelling my subjects than actually taking land. Which is interesting to say the very least. Uh, yeah, you're not interested in any of this. And normally it would be concede defeat, but obviously they're not really willing to do that. So we might have to pay them off grandly here. And we might be okay. What is with this lag? It's absolutely brutal. Right, okay. Um, wow, the lag is unreal. Um, it might be because it's getting to the end of the game. I don't know. So if I paid you off with absolutely everything I have, okay, you're nearly willing to take that. You're willing to take this. Alright, send offer. Let's get out of the war. Right, okay. So we ceded a couple of promises to Scandinavia, and we took out a loan. Alright. Um, really? An alliance offer down there? Hmm. Um, right, so we're out of the war. That's rule number one. So we still have Tibet as a vassal. So improving relations with Perm. Well, obviously they're going to hate me. Um, they want my provinces as well. Our overlord abandoned us. <laughs> well, let's return you then. Right, we need to catch up. The thing is, we need to catch up with Scandinavia and things like that. And we need to catch up with them big time. And it's for that reason that we need to say, well, hang on. Can we actually match them at all? So we could do with some alliances here. Now, we can't uh, offer an alliance there until 1727. Uh, but you'd never be, you'd be never willing to join the war. So how about Persia? Maybe. What about the Ottomans? Yeah, and you're not really interested. So we need to look at alliances. So Persia might be interested in an alliance. Uh, I'm not sure whether you hate the Ottomans a lot, though. I'm not really sure. The tech is terrible, though. Alright. Um, sure, we'll take an alliance down here. Framcake claim. Right, okay. So, jeepers. <laughs> We took a bit of a battering, but we didn't lose too much in the way of land, which is very interesting. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't really want that much land. Right, stop building spy network. Let's go ahead and mothball all our forts. Royal marriage down there as well. So, uh, monies. Okay, we're doing good for monies because we... Okay, we're reinforcing stacks left, right and centre here. So... Let's keep this as a 32k stack, or 33k stack, and we'll put that here. So we had 100,000 men, we now only have 43,000. Would you look at that? Uh, and that includes the colonial armies of 10k down here. I think we've done enough colonising though, to be fair. Um, 
I think we're okay with terms of colonies. We don't need to spend any more on colonial maintenance. Although this one here, 61, yeah, that might be quite nice. But, nah, I think we're okay here. Uh, so, diplomats. Um, so I think the first one I'm going to turn to is the Ottomans. And the next one I'm going to turn to is Persia. They're just extra people. And then Changatai over here. Let's get a royal marriage. And um, we'll try and be friends with Changatai again, I think, as well. Uh, that might help. Uh, let's spend on some conversions. So let's do that. And let's improve relations here. Like that. Okay, so we've got some separatists. Oh no, Sunni Zealots. Okay, that's fine. Not too bothered by that. Right. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> How do we pick up from that? It's a good question. Um, we could go in and attack somebody down here, but then... Yeah, we need to we need to pick up from that. We need to get our armies back here. And the thing is, Scandinavia has so many friends. You actually ally with Great Britain, Commonwealth, and Pomerania. Because uh, Great Britain formed because Scotland managed to successfully take all of that over. Which is interesting. Uh, I doubt we get any alliances anywhere around here. I highly doubt it anyway. Distance between borders is the major factor. Shouldn't have ignored this. Should not have ignored this. That's bad. Uh, Shiravan over here. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, certainly be interested in getting an alliance with the Ottomans, though, and possibly Persia. Uh, can Persia allow royal marriages? Yes, they do. Okay. Well, that's cool. So let's see whether Persia would be interested in like Just a few defensive nations here. Certainly if we can get the Ottomans, that'll be great. Um, we'll see, though. Okay, so we need to recover now. Um, we need to keep going with our technologies and stuff like that. So, absolute monarchy, republican dictatorship. Okay. So the money's okay. Uh, no problems there. In fact, we're making huge money. Um, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, Holland join the republic. Alright. Let's go ahead and get an advisor here then. Absolutely huge money. Because we're not spending on colonial maintenance and army maintenance. We're not spending on that anymore either. Uh, that's true. Okay, um, I'm tempted to build some forts over this way. Uh, we don't have the money for it though. But yeah, we could certainly build a couple of forts over here. That might help. Uh, they were able to storm in there way too quickly. Um, we're still darn huge. That's okay. But it sort of shows how bad uh, what it was. I mean, it would have been worse if we hadn't have westernized. But... Uh, Let's see what we can do, uh, if we can catch up to them in technology, and things like that. Oh, so brutal. That was so, so brutal. Okay. Right, so we're making strong money. And I'm glad we're making strong money, because we need to. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll take the diplo power. And we'll just hire another one. <laughs> Alright, um, so uh, we can improve our troops apparently. Um, Asian Dragoons. Okay, so we can increase that. Right, let's, make, let's get some men on the field then. Uh, so. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, and let's get a couple of cannons going, and let's start to put some men over here, I'd be interested, yes, the commonwealth is no longer your friend, fantastic, so they can fight each other, Geez, they still both hate me. Could I possibly try and improve relations with one of these guys? Ottomans, Korea, and France. Hmm. I don't know whether we could possibly try and improve relations. Because the Commonwealth is the weaker one. 
in the end, if they're on side, then it's okay. Scandinavia is kicking ass right now. They are very, very strong. But I'd be interested to know as to whether... Uh, Persia is interested in an alliance. Well, that's nice. Uh, the Ottomans are probably never going to be interested. So let's go ahead and bring you back then. Maybe I could try and switch out the Commonwealth to somebody else. There we go. And let's announce the Bahamanis as well. Uh, right, so let's do that. Uh, recall the diplomat from Persia. And try, if we can, to improve relations here. I'd like to. So, improve relations with the Commonwealth. Uh, Persia uh, would be willing to get a royal marriage and an alliance, so that's good. Uh, maybe not, no, not an alliance. Certainly interested in a royal marriage. There we go, so we got that. Uh, oh, you're allied to um, Yanpu, that's annoying. Okay, so we've only got one friend at the moment. We could do with another one. Well, we'll try and get Changatai back if we can. Uh, you could do with losing that war, actually. Oh, Mecklenburg declared the war. Well, that's interesting. He actually declared the war. <laughs> right. Okay, next job. Right, so we've got some cannons here. Move you into there. Uh, I guess we'll put a leader in charge here. Um, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Um... Where's my other army? It's over here. Uh, I'm going to move this army across to here. The rig focus my attention to the west. It's got to be done. Um, perm. Build spy network. Now we need some more men in here. So only 26 for a supply limit, which is quite annoying. 32 there, though. So let's stand here. And let's keep going here. So... Bunch of cannons. A couple of cavalry units. And some more infantry. Because I, I believe that if we can... If we can catch up with them on technology and things like that, we may be able to take them on. Commonwealth is winning that fight as well. It's interesting. Uh, there's not much of Austria left, because uh, Venice took most of that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have ignored Sweden. I shouldn't have ignored them. They got they got bigger. They got better. Yeah, uh, I ignored Sweden. Uh, okay, so Wu declared war. Fine. Uh, right, so, I need to be able to strike back here. I know with Great Britain, which is interesting. Uh, so, influence ideas on the Diplo front. Uh, no, we'll wait for the technology. we we got to catch up in tech. We just have to. Uh, the unbalanced research is causing us some problems. But, uh, okay, we're still making a good amount of money here, uh, despite the fact I've just invested in so many more men. Right, all of you move to here. Ning declared war on Ning, okay. Uh, put you here. And then we'll have another army further back, I think. Uh, ooh, excellent. Search for knowledge. Great. Riga Mecklenburg. Right, yeah. If you can not be allied with Scandinavia anymore, that'll be fantastic. Uh, Settler Grove enables heavy frigate. Okay. Gain a bunch of Imperialism CBs here. Okay. Gained a military idea, but we'll wait for that. Got to be able to take these back. We've got to take them on. <clears throat> or at least move through Perm here and sort of try and push, push out. Right, so that's two armies. We will need a third. Uh, we'll need at least another 20,000, maybe even 30. Because that's what 53, 60k. Scandinavia had about 90, nearly 100k. So, uh, 
Ooh, diplomatic annexation cost plus 10. Right. We might want to annex Tibet. We might want to. Uh, it might be useful, actually, to annex Tibet. Okay, so Persia is unfortunately not a friend. Um, Shuravan might become one. Your technology is terrible when compared to everybody else's. But if the Commonwealth can win that fight and take some land, that'll be good. I would, I would very much like that. Maybe if we could perhaps be friends with the Commonwealth. Oh, that war's over. Oh, no, it's not. No, the Scan Navy has just taken back their, their stuff. Okay. Uh, right, so let's keep going. Let's just get an all infantry stack here. There we go. So we'll combine this infantry lot and we'll put them somewhere along here. And we'll have a 20,000 stack or something like that. We'll have something. Um, 29, 33, yeah. Maybe we'll keep this army a little bit further back, actually. Maybe here, yeah. Let's keep this army a little bit further back as to not reveal where all our troops are. Um, there we go. Let's keep going with uh, conversions. So move all these guys. Yeah, you should all be moving into there. Right. So we're fabricating some claims on Perm. They have no friends as of yet, but uh, that'll be good actually, because if we can uh, we can move forward there, that'll be all right. Right. We renewed our loan. Uh, we might be able to. Um, might be able to get the loan, uh, pay that off soon. What is the interest? 132. Okay, that's quite a lot, actually. Um, still good money, though. Right, and then we'll get a couple of cannons in here after that as well. Uh, so, what I'm thinking actually here is I'm going to throw in the ruler. Um, because I need him to kind of die. <laughs> so that we can get the uh, the good, uh, the really good air coming through. So we kind of need that right now. So right, that war has finished. Uh, I don't know what the result of it was, but uh, hopefully you're not going to be friends anymore with Commonwealth. Oh, Scandinavia pieced out. Okay. So the Commonwealth is still still fighting. Well, hopefully they might actually decide that they might be all right with me. Hoping so. Well, Scandinavia would be the better one, but uh, they want a lot of my provinces. Okay, so I like Great Britain. Interesting. Uh, they might possibly land troops and join in. Uh, so what is Great Britain's? Okay, yeah, your status is quite mm, <laughs> worrying, to say the very least. Uh, but let's go ahead and fabricate a claim on Perm. So we'll go for this one here. Kudmakar, whatever that is. So they're a vassal for a long time, and now we're probably going to go in and attack them. So. Can we get uh, our alliance back with these guys yet? Um. Really? I'll have to lose the stability. Uh, 1727, okay. Well, we'll get that back soon enough. That'll be important, I think. Uh, so that's a load of infantry in there. So I'm going to put in two lots of cavalry and three lots of cannons to make a 20k stack. Right. Now we just need to get our technology going. I need a maneuver. Yeah, we need this technology to start rifling along here. Which is where I really need the flaming air to be in charge, but no, because our king is stubborn. <laughs> he won't die. Right, let's move the two cavalry units into here then. And yeah, because you took quantity and quality. Yeah, that's a powerful combination. Offensive and defensive is powerful too, but then they had they had three techs over us, so we really had no chance. But let's keep going. Nabal Fortress, okay. Keep upgrading our technology. Bit of corruption though, because we're unbalanced research. 
Lundu. Okay. Okay, good. Right, so I think that should be alright in terms of army camp. Should be, anyway. So, when is our truce with Perm? January 1736. Okay. Uh, yes, of course, we'll get that roll marriage back. Yeah, I could do with a big friend over here. I would love to have the Ottomans on side, but they really don't seem willing. It's just too much of a distance between borders. Uh, but yeah. We're going to want to go in and do some attacking here. I think. We're going to want to try and sort of move around along some of these uh, smaller nations here. Okay, cool. So in a certain way, we sort of showed the power of Scandinavia, really, didn't we? Because we played as Denmark and we kicked everybody's ass over this way. So uh, that that it makes sense that they would beat us there. But I'm determined to try and get us back here. Got that feeling we might be able to turn it around and nab a bit more. It's over here. Try and fight back here. Be interesting. But I'm going to end this part right here then. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like EU4, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, but for now that's it, and join me next time for more for myself, Matt Tomato, and I'll play through as Korea. See you later, guys.